We good. <laughs> Welcome to Heavy Metal Hot Sauce. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Heavy Metal Hot Sauce. What's going on guys? We got something I'm pretty excited about. A show that we deeply love. We deeply do. Deep to our hearts. Um, quote it all the time. Yeah. Um, Try the Marble Hot Sauce. To the Park Boys. Um, massive thanks to Aaron for sending that again. Um, if you go back, we we have done this one, and uh, we're gonna give it a we're gonna dip our toes back in the pool with that again. But the newest one, <laughs> the Green Bastard. The Green Bastard. I'm very <laughs> excited. Yeah. Um, we've been waiting on it. We've had some unfortunate things happen. Just yeah. distance, adult life. We're doing it finally. Um, so let's do it. Let's do it. Um, let you know. Let's just go right with our our taste buds fresh. Let's let's get into the green bastard right away. Okay. Um, ingredients we have: tomatillos, tomatillos, water. Scallions, jalapeno peppers, cilantro, garlic, serrano peppers, lime juice. Okay, this I don't think I I don't think I've seen this in a sauce before. Spinach. Spinach. It's about to get Popeye up in here. Wow. Um, spinach. Carrots, vinegar, olive oil, xanthan gum, salt, spices, and chili powder. Chili powder. All so. Right. Yeah. Um, spinach, okay. Spinach, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, but that makes sense. Green Bastard, how how else is he going to get strong? Yeah, true. The, you know what, now that I think about it, I <laughs> would, it would make, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Um, and to go along with everything else that's been awesome so far, perforation. The perforated seals. They really help. Yes. Um... It's, it's it's liquidy, but not it doesn't look too runny. Once you shake it up, it looks like it it's not too bad. Um, it looks fairly smooth. Really, not too much to see your chunks or anything. Ooh. I mean, I'm a big green sauce guy, and I just love the smell of green sauces. So it's very rare that I smell one that I don't love. Wow. That one smells very delicious, very fresh. Yeah, it smells really good. Um, yeah, <laughs> limey, you know. The cilantro it, it, really yeah. helps bring that freshness out. Yeah, yeah, it's just, oh, I love that so much. That's really nice. Yeah. Wow. That actually smells, not that I expected it to be bad or anything, yeah. just a, it's somehow a, a better than I expected. <laughs> The pour, I was expecting, I was, I'm pouring it like I thought it was going to be a little thinner, but honestly, it's a great consistency. It's it actually pours, got some thickness to it. Yeah. It pours very well. Oh, there's like chunkage going on. Really? Yeah, it looks, I can see some chunkage going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, sticking, okay. sticking right okay, out you, of the Okay, you got there. some chunkage. I didn't, you got that second pour. You got <laughs> that second pour. Yeah, you know what? Get a little chunkage on here. Spoon there. No! Come on! Give me that spinach. This guy. All right, green bastard. Cheers. What? No. There's a lot going on there. I don't eat spinach. So I don't even know what the taste to look for. <laughs> but there's something in there that I'm not really used to. So is that the spinach? Could be. Are you a spinach guy? Do you know I, what's up with spinach? I know that uh, I eat some spinach sometimes, uh -huh. and um, you, know, it's, you know, certain sandwiches are nice with spinach instead of lettuce type thing. Very leafy, you know, um, not like not like a green flavor, but it's just a very leafy like uh, leafy deal. It's, Which I guess it adds. It kind of adds to almost, the earthiness. Of and it. It, yeah, it, it it kind of. I feel like it really balanced or mellowed all the other flavors almost. Like it kind of. There's something to it. Yeah, nothing really 
one thing, nothing really stands out. It's, yeah. It is a good, like a good blend. <laughs> like a little flavor binder. Um, and it's also kind of, I almost feel like texturally it was adding to that texture as well. Like, I don't know how much you'd have to blend yeah. the spinach, but spinach, you know, yeah. cooking it up, if you're cooking it up in your sauce and everything, it's going to just have a, it's, just a, it's different. It's very I, different. I, it is, and I liked it. Um, the heat, heat was a little, it was lower on there. It says four, four was four out of 20. Four out of 10. Oh, I was looking at the other bottle. <laughs> <laughs> four out of 10. Um, I would, I'm going to probably go with like a, one to a two at most. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm gonna say pretty much anybody is gonna be able to really enjoy this one. And I think yeah. a lot of people will. Yeah. For being a Verde, um, it has a little bit of uniqueness to it, which yeah. most Verdes are just, you know Yeah, different ones are cool, yeah. But uh, you know, they're all kind of they can be different in their own different way, but this is But a lot of them do tend to be the, Kind of the same. Yeah, thing. right. It's still so like this history. Is, this is nice this to is, not be too overly yeah. unique. It's still going to go decent on a lot of things. Yeah, I can definitely see that too. Like for sure, see it on tacos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, you know, just put it on there. Probably don't even really meet, need lime because I mean it's kind of yeah. limey itself. Um, but yeah, that or just on chicken as well. Definitely see it on some nice like grilled or fried fish. Grilled, yeah, grilled definitely. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. I like it. So, yeah, with, you know, being lower heat, anyone's going to enjoy it. Everyone can enjoy it. Um, I'm going to, I mean, I, I give this a good four horns because it's it's good versatility and that, that uniqueness, like I said, just stands it apart. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm definitely, I'm right there with you. I'm going to give four horns. Um, yeah, just a good sauce, good overall sauce, not too crazy of a flavor. But still somehow very unique in a way that, you know, it stands out, but it's not going to, like, mess. You, you can eat it on a lot of foods, you know what I mean? So, very versatile. Um, so, yeah, I definitely comfortable giving it to four. Okay. Well, we'll just do a little refresher course on this. Like I said, if you go back, you can find the original video we did on this one. Um, I, I, since that video... This has turned you. into one of my, honestly, just favorite, like, sauces to keep around that I use on just so many basic mm. foods. And yeah. <laughs> it went yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. Just throwing on just about anything. Yep. Um, I remember being like that. There is perforation, but I did a crappy job. That was, I can actually, I gotta blame myself on that. I did a bad job. <laughs> Come on. Um, Come on. But, How long have you been doing this? Yeah. Not long enough, apparently. Um... Yes, so there we have it. We have the original, the first one that we got to try, the Decent. Um, it's, I'm going to say it's just, just going to be just a little thinner than, than the Verde, the Green Bastard. Um, yeah, this sauce is than... just everything I love about just like vinegar and sauces, man. Just, yeah. oh, once you smell it, it's like. It gets in your nostrils and it kind of tangles a little bit, and that's what I like. Yeah, yeah, it has that bite to it. Definitely has that you know vinegary bite to it. This but... is meant for your finest of chicken fingers. Yeah, these ingredients like there's lots of. I'm just gonna skip over a lot of it. A lot of it's in parentheses, but I would honestly love to see Ricky try to read this. Yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it's, it's, it's just get frustrated. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to be um, dipping into that bottle hard tonight. So. Oh, my mouth is my mouth is literally watering. I just love vinegar sauces, man. Oh, mm. Decent. Decent. Cheers. Another one that pulls mm. no punches. Nothing really mm. fancy going on. But you know what? It is exactly what it's supposed to be. And that's mm -hmm. what I love about it. Yeah. I mean, for what it is, this is a five horn um, vinegar table sauce for me. It's always going to be, I have a hand select vinegar sauces that I can keep on hand. And this is one of them. Yeah. Well, it's definitely up there. It's definitely up there as far as a lot of other ones I've tried. Um, as far as the whole package itself, it definitely gets a strong four horns from me. 
Um, yeah, solid sauce. I can just have it on the table, eat it with just about anything. Yeah. Once again, Aaron, thanks for sending this for us to try. Um, I cannot wait to see what you come out with next. I really can. Yeah. And uh, like I said, if you guys want to see the original one on this, where we go a little more in depth with this one specific, you can go back and find that. Um, and if you want to keep seeing other videos, hit that bell so you are notified. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. And as always, keep it hot and heavy.